us apart. Trees do bend, though straight and tall, so must we to others call. Long have I waited for your coming, home to me and me. My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you to this Eucharistic celebration of love, peace and joy. Requesting you to kindly subscribe, like and share our channel with your near and dear ones. Help us to spread the word to the world. Dear friends, during this season of Lent, the church invites us to put into practice three important aspects prayer, fasting and almsgiving. Requesting each one of you to be generous in your Lenten almsgiving to the poor and needy. We also request you to kindly send your mass intentions so that we pray for your intentions. Today we pray very specially and continue to pray for the people of Russia and Ukraine so that, that the Lord may bless them with His peace and serenity. May the after effects of the war and the trauma that the people are still going through, may God be their consoler be their sense of strength and console them to the various good souls that are coming forward to help them. Along with this intention, we also pray for the intentions of each one of you. Let us now become aware of the presence of God and surrender ourselves totally, completely into His loving care, asking Him to bless us and guide us so that all that we do today may it be pleasing to him let us begin this holy eucharist by signing ourselves in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us pray together. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, and my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I, have I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, 
a spirit of always pondering on what is right and of hastening to carry it out. And since without you we cannot exist, may we be enabled to live according to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verses 15 to 20. Moses said to the people, See, today I set before you life and prosperity, death and disaster. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I enjoin on you today, if you love the Lord your God and follow His ways, if you keep His commandments, His laws, His customs, you will live and increase. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land which you are entering to make your own. But if your heart strays, if you refuse to listen, if you let yourself be drawn into worshipping other gods and serving them, I tell you today, you will most certainly perish. You will not live long in the land you are crossing, the Jordan, to enter and possess. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today. I set before you life or death, blessing or curse. Choose life then, so that you and your descendants may live in the love of the Lord your God, obeying His voice, clinging to Him. For in this your life consists, and on this depends your long stay in the land which the Lord saw to your fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he would give them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, your response. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Your response. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Your response? Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Not so are the wicked, not so, for they like we note chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Your response? Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Gospel Acclamation Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus. A pure heart create for me, O God. And give me again the joy of your help, praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, the Son of Man is destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and the chief priests 
and scribes and to be put to death and to be raised up on the third day. Then to all he said, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross every day and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it. But anyone who loses his life for my sake, that man will save it. What gain then is it for a man to have won the whole world and to have lost or ruined his very self? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, life is a matter of choices, and every choice we make makes us. The reading speaks on the subject of choices. And the first reading and the gospel passage, the Lord has placed before us choices to choose. And what we choose is a very important one because what we choose, we become. The coming to the first reading of today, Moses lays out two choices for Israelites which they have before them. The first being life. Life meaning eternal life, life with God. Or the second choice is death. Death meaning a broken relationship, life without God in one's life. So these two choices are put before Moses to the Israelites. And he places them and asks them to choose any one of them. Life, which is life with God through obedience to God's laws and commands. And second, death, which is through disobedience. Coming to the gospel passage, Jesus invites his disciples and each one of us to freely follow him. In order to experience life which Jesus offers us, life in abundance, as the Gospel of John chapter 10 verse 10, Jesus says, I have come so that they may have life in abundance and this life Jesus is offering to everyone who wants to be his follower. So the choice is us. Do I want to follow Jesus and experience life in abundance or I want to just reject this life which Jesus is offering? Dear friends, the content of our character is our choices. Day by day, what we choose, what we think and do is what we become. We all know that through one man's disobedience, that is Adam, came death. But through another man's obedience, that is Jesus, came life. And this is what the readings are placing before us. Life and death. And it asks us to choose wisely. Let us, my dear friends, as we are in the season of Lent, wherein we are praying, fasting, and doing almsgiving, may these three activities, may these three things remind us to choose life. May these three things remind us that we choose wisely. We choose prudently and not get tempted to the temptations of devil and deviate ourselves from life itself. So, my dear friends, God give us wisdom to choose rightly and may our choices reflect hope and not fear. Amen.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Be merciful, O Lord, to those who approach you in supplication and accepting the oblations and prayers of your people. Turn the hearts of us all towards you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world, as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we are claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Derek our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Francis the Sales, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. His love is more than men can tell. His love is more than men can tell. Jesus said for me is more than man can tell. The joy that comes when he is near, the rest he gives so free from fear, the hope in him so bright and clear. Let us pray. May the mercy they have hoped for, O Lord, come to those who make supplication to you. And may the riches of heaven be given them, that they may know what it is right to ask and receive what they have sought. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and live Jesus. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, I wish each one of you a blessed day. Mm -hmm.